Who that? wants to drink the princess drink? The princess. I got unanimously voted in as a princess. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Me and David are back in Taipei. We're here with our friends TJ and Berna, and we're about to show you two things that everybody does when they come to Taipei. The number one thing you gotta do is eat traditional Taiwanese food. And the other thing is go to the top of Taipei 101. Let's go! Okay, we are here at Kingping, which started off as a famous tea house, but now serves traditional food in a modernized setting. Everything that you see in this video today was booked through KK Day, which is Asia's leading travel platform, so check them out. Kingping actually started as a tea company, and then they just started serving food. And that's actually very common for a lot of Taiwanese spots, because Taiwanese people love their tea. This particular this one, is one is one. Yeah. Okay, let's Yo, all, can we try. all try this one. Can we, can we take a look at this? Boom. Look at this, they have the foam on top. Yo, this is so good. I forget, because I don't know if you, It's good, oh. your reaction is... The taste of bubble is really sweet, like honey, I guess. And right here we have delicious beef noodle soup and an array of different types of steamed dumplings. Beef noodle soup is niu rou mian. In the Nationalist Army, when they were coming to Taiwan, and there was all different types of people from different parts of China, and they brought their different influences to create this particular dish. They say the noodles are from the north, the broth is kind of from Sichuan, but then some of the spices are from Taiwan. So right over here, we have some steamed dumplings. There are three ways to cook dumplings. You can boil it, you can steam it, and you can hot fry it. Here, they have the crab shawl. Crab one's lit. Yo, I got, I got a gourd shrimp one. Inside the vegetable is actually called lufa. And it's like a tropical vine of the family cucumber. So the interesting thing about this vegetable, when it's dried, you can use it as a bath sponge. I think Zhou Tai dumplings have a stronger flavor, so this is gonna taste really different from the rest. It's got a very like mm. intense, you know, yeah, when you intense it. like spicy mustard. Yes, almost exactly. Like Traditional Shao Long Bao. Oh, yeah, so it was oh, 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 oh. that's really good. In a lot of Taiwanese restaurants, there's actually like a layer of shelf of these little appetizers for you to grab. Right here is broccoli stock, some cut pickled cabbage. I know this is really traditional too to just have a plate of greens that you share. I feel like there's some tea flavor in this. It kind of has the same spice as a tea egg. Mmm, it does. So I've never had a kimchi jiaozi before. This is new. I might just have to eat this straight up, no sauce. Wow. Look at that. Look how red that is. Uh, do we try the red bean yet? Wow, that's just red bean in a, in a shallow bow skin. This is the taro dumpling. That's just good. TJ, I got something for you. <laughs> this is straight up some beauty and the beast. Who that? wants to drink the princess drink? The princess. I got unanimously voted in as a princess. <laughs> it's really good. You know what it is? It's a rose milk tea. Underneath this basket, there are two flavors of shallow bow I've never had before. Boom! Boom. We have the tea shallow bows and the mullet roe shallow bow. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got stuck with the paper. Mullet roe is the dried eggs of the mullet fish. Mm, look at that juice that just came out. Oh, look at that. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, we can't tell which one was the mullet roe and which one was the tea one. It's unclear which one was which, but it's both delicious. David, I believe this drink is yours, man. What is this? They got big fruit ice cubes. In. It's like a carbonated tea. Like a soda tea? Yeah, like a soda wow. tea. Last but not least here, they have banana chocolate xiaolong bao. Xiangjiao chocolate xiaolong bao. Oh, I got stuck with the paper this time. All right, you guys. Oh, oh, it's dripping. Oh my god. No, the chocolate is actually not that sweet. Oh! Yeah. I'm super impressed that a tea shop could come up with food like this. You got Disney drinks. <laughs> so tight. But a big thing that's up and coming here in Taiwan are cafes like this that have like clean and beautiful modern food that you would go to. We got to go on to our next thing. So we're doing a little traveling. All 
right, and the other thing that you must do when you come visit Taipei is go to the top of Taipei 101. Taipei 101. Woo! Yay. Before you get to the top of Taipei 101, you can stop here at the bottom few floors. There's a ton of stores, there's good food, so be sure you check it out from the bottom all the way up. Hit the mall and hit the view. Let's go! We are waiting here at the bottom of the Taipei 101 to take one of the fastest elevators in the world to the top. Okay, let's Whoa. Whoa, we're, we're going. Go to space. You ready to see the city? I've been to Taiwan so many times, but this is the first time I came up here, and it's a totally different experience. I'm glad I came. Uh, I really like in this area, the landscape of Taipei. I love seeing my city from this view. Taiwan is my new home. Taiwan, Taiwan will always be my home. Everybody, that wraps up this video on the two things that you need to do when you come and visit Taipei. Big shout out to Verna and TJ for being here. Big shout out to KK Day for putting that experience together for us. And if you guys want to come and visit Taiwan, definitely check out this link down below because KK Day has a lot of cool activities. We are in Taipei City, Taiwan. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Taiwan Chen. Hi everyone, it's TJ. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys want to watch more travel experiences and food tours in Asia, head over to my channel, youtube.com slash cup of TJ. Hi, I'm Verna and I'm a Taiwan dancer. And if you want to know more about me, please check the down below. This is my Instagram.